Are you content with your life? Or are you the kind of person who wants more? And is it possible to be both at the same time? And if it is possible, how can I get that kind of life? Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Pastor Bert and this is my jam. Please hit the like button and bell notification if you want to keep getting PB's Jam in your feed. You know, lately this topic has been coming up a lot for me. I've been trying to clear out some of the junk in my garage and I've been wondering how I accumulated so much stuff or why I thought I needed it all. Then a friend of mine recently came back from a short trip to Cambodia. When I asked him what it was like, he said, they're poor, but happy people. And I saw the same thing in many of the people I met during our church's mission trip to the Dominican Republic earlier this year. And I've been wondering how we in the West, who have so much, have lost the ability to be happy or content with our lives. So I started to search the Bible to see if it had any answers to this dilemma. And as I've often found, there is much wisdom that can be found in God's word to humanity. The famous shepherd King David of Israel, who wrote many songs to God, during an especially difficult time when he was literally running for his life, penned, I will be content as if I had eaten the best foods while my lips sing joyful praises to God. David says here that even in the most difficult times of his life, when, when he praises God for all of his wonderful things, or all the wonderful things that he's done in, in, for him, it fills his soul with joy and contentment. That's a good thing to learn, because life isn't always easy. And there are voices that keep harping on us that if we want to have an easier life, we need to have more, achieve more, and be more. But the life and riches the world says you need to strive for pale in comparison to the riches that God promises and says are already available to us. The early church leader called the Apostle Paul, explaining this to a young man he was mentoring, wrote, living a life that pleases God and being content with what he provides makes one truly rich, but not in the ways some imagine. Folks, the greatest riches in this life can't be put in a bank account. Loving relationships, peace of heart, a sound body and mind can't be bought. They are the results of a life well lived. A life that trusts God, is grateful for what he's given, and loves the people that he's placed in our lives. Let me pray for you before we go. Father, thank you. Thank you that you provide everything we need for this life and the life to come. And Lord, I thank you that every good and perfect gift comes from you. And that all we need to do is open our eyes to recognize it. I'm thankful for this beautiful country that I live in. As I look around, I, I see the gorgeous prairie fields waving <laughs> in the wind and and the majestic mountains overseeing that and just over the mountains that beautiful coastline and the oceans with with the beauty that that brings lord i thank you for all the blessings in my life my family my friends my church family god you have blessed me in so many abundant ways and each of us God, help us to open our eyes to all those things that we can say thank you for and that we can sing praises of, unto you that will fill us with joy and fill us with contentment no matter what we're going through. And I pray that over each and everyone watching today, God, as your presence fills them, 
that your peace would permeate their being with a, with a sweet joy and contentment that they never imagined. And I thank you for that, and I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks again so much for joining me, folks. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye for now.